The old standby for sizing a snowboard is to stand in front of a snowboard and hold it up to your face. If it falls in between your chin and your nose, it's a good size for you. Sure, this is generally a way to size a board, but it's not the best way to size a board. A snowboard doesn't know how tall you are. It knows how much you weigh and how much pressure your body weight pushes down on it and into the snow. Just take a look at Tony here. Tony is tall. Now, take a look at Mono. Mono is not very tall. If you use the old chin to nose method, Tony would ride a super long board and Mono would ride a much shorter board. But in reality, Tony and Mono ride the same size board. Why? Because they're both the same weight. A heavier rider will want a longer board with more edge to snow contact and a lighter rider will want a shorter board with less edge to snow contact. Now let's throw another wrinkle into the equation. Snowboard companies use different technologies and board design theories to make the boards handle how they want them to handle. Different side cut radii, longer or shorter tips and tails, edge contact points, and rocker or camber profiles are just a few design elements to take into consideration when you're choosing the right size snowboard. These considerations may require you to size up or down 10 whole centimeters. Now I have to mention boot size. Do you need a wide board? Who are those for? Holy jeez. How do you know which size to choose? It's really easy. You look at the size chart that's usually right there on the back of the snowboard. Whether the board is physically in front of you or you're looking at it online, use the size chart for that specific snowboard model to determine which size is best for you. As you'll notice, there's a lot of overlap in the sizing. Just like the whole chin to nose thing, if you're heavier, choose the longer size. If you're mostly just going down the hill and carving, choose a board that's in the middle to the longer end of the range to give you more control. If you're mostly doing tricks and spinning, choose a board that's in the middle or the lower end for more maneuverability. If you have size 11 or bigger boots, in many cases, depending on the boot brand, you may want to consider a wide board. If you're still in doubt as to what size snowboard you should choose, there's always a leasing kiosk featured in all of the Eric's locations that sell skis and snowboards. Just hop on up and take a look at the size chart for snowboarders of your height. These leasing kiosks are gonna feature a range of sizes, so use the advice that I gave earlier to determine if you should choose the longer or shorter board based on your body weight, your ability, and your riding style. And that's really it. Sizing a snowboard isn't all that tough. Take a look at the sizing chart, evaluate your body weight and your riding style, and get ready to shred.